Hello, my name is Sylvia Choma, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to properly edit your photographs using Lightroom. Launch your Lightroom app and import the photographs that you would like to edit. For me, I'll be editing three photographs, this one, this one, and this one. Great, so I'll be starting with this one. When you come into Lightroom, there is an auto option which allows them to help you edit your photograph. Sometimes I click on it just to see what the photograph would look like. In this in this place now, I did it here. So you can see how the photo was before and how it is after I clicked on the auto option. It's not so bad at all, but I would still like to do some adjustments on the photo. Let me show you what each option here does. Everything on that light, every option you can see on that light affects the light. So this is exposure. Exposure affects the brightness and the darkness of the photograph this is contrast contrast does almost the same thing just that it has different texture you can see how it looks the next one is highlights highlights does almost the same thing affects the light affects the brightness of the photograph shadows does the same thing it affects the brightness so you just need to know how to use it smartly this one is white the same thing just then this is black. Black makes everything in the photo extra black or extra white, depending on if you increase or reduce it. Great, so I've clicked on, let me click on auto to reset everything back. Great, so everything is now back to how Lightroom helped me to edit it. So now let us go to shadows and increase it a bit. But let me show you guys a color. So everything on that color here affects the color of the image. Temperature affects the coldness or the warmness of the photograph, as you can see what I just did. Uh, tint affects the photograph as well. It gives it some other color. You know what tint means, like tinting the photograph to have another color. Vibrance affects the brightness of the image. Can you see that? Everything is just extra. It affects the brightness of the image or it takes off all the color entirely. Then saturation does the same thing as well, affects the brightness, makes it over bright, pops all the colors. That's what they basically do. So that's what everything under color does. So this is under effects. This is texture. Texture helps you to make the photograph either very crispy or just the clarity makes it ex extremely crispy. If you take off all the clarity, see how it looks. The haze does the same thing as well. The haze probably even pops the color more. Yes, that's what it does. And then makes it extra white if you reduce it entirely. Vignette does the same thing too, but this one makes it look like those olden days pictures that have white or black things around it. Yeah, so that's what they do. Everything, that's why they're called effect. They just help you add effect to your photograph. So now let's go back to color and work on this photograph properly. So you see where I clicked, I clicked on mix and it brought me here. So now this is all the colors. You need to look at your photograph and know what color is in your picture. Me, I have red, I have green, I have blue. So you can see that I'm adjusting. I also have brown, that's the color of my skin. So now I'm currently adjusting the color of my skin. Now I've gone to green to adjust the color of the trees. So you need to be checking out the colors as you're adjusting. I want a little bit of yellow, which is why I reduced the hue to that point. For my sky, yes, I increase the blue all the way. For those that have been asking me about sky, this is what I do. I, but make sure that your temperature is towards the cold part of it. If you go back, you will see temperature. Make sure it's towards the cold part. So now I'm increasing the shadows because I feel like my face isn't so bright enough. So that's what I use shadows to do. This is what the photograph was before. This is it now. So you can see that there's a huge difference between what it was before and what it is now. So let's work on this yellow picture. I chose this picture because it is indoor. So I want you to see how I work on a photo that was taken indoor with white background. Great. So for this photograph, let me just click on auto and see what auto gives us. Okay. Uh, well, this made it a little dark. I mean, it was brighter than this before, but let's just work on it. We can work on this. So now I'm going to increase my exposure just so that the photo can be bright overall. Then I increase my shadows for my face and my body. Then I reduce the white. I'm sorry, I reduce the black so that my hair and my slippers can still be dark. Then I've gone to color now. For this red, it's just my lip that is red here. That's why I came to red. 
then for the brown is my skin that is brown for the yellow it is my dress so you see what this thing can do to a yellow dress can completely change the color just or just change it anyhow so it's you that know what you want to do make sure that when you're editing your clothes that you want to sell don't go and over change the color so that it remains as the client saw it when they ordered it let me increase shadows a bit okay good so for me this photograph is is done look at it before look at it now so for me it is very okay like this i don't need to do any extra thing on it again let's come to this one now this one to do auto and see what auto gives us let's see okay oh well this is still a bit dark for me but we can still work on it so i'm going to increase my exposure i would increase my contrast a bit i would increase my shadow so that my face is not too dark and then i'll go to color and reduce the temperature take it to the cold side of it so that i can have a really blue sky when i decide to work on the blue sky yeah so can you see that now so if i did not work on the temperature this blue sky i wouldn't have been able to get it great so i'm working on the saturation for color green can you see that you can completely change an image to whatever you want it to be yes look at this is very unrealistic though but i mean i'm just letting you know that you can change it to whatever you want so here we go yep so the yellow that's just around just to make it look good now nobody would even know if that you shot this picture outside this is what the picture was before and this is it now so you can see that the power is in your hands you can change your image to whatever you want it to be however you want it to look okay let's save the photo to camera roll so you click on this arrow that is facing upwards you click save to camera roll click maximum available okay and then it begins to render great and now you have successfully saved to your lightroom so let's see it in photos Great, so here's the photograph that we have just edited.